one critical thing that a lot of people still aren't getting right. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's me, RK3, and here's what I'm burning on today. Man, after all these months, there is still this one thing that people are not doing that I see being messed up as people do these online presentations, virtual meetings, etc. One critical thing that a lot of people still aren't getting right. What is it? Eye contact. Yes eye contact from the time that you've been a kid you've been told that you gotta have great eye contact in order for people to understand that you're having a conversation with them that you think what they have to say is important that you're engaged that you're present in the conversations and that is in person but for some reason people have forgotten that when we've gotten into these online conversations they don't always pay attention to how their eyes connect with somebody who happens to be on the other side of the screen so there are quite a few common mistakes and you know what they are. A lot of times people have their phones on the desk or because the computer is on the desk and you're taller than the computer, you're looking down at the computer, you know, you got the nose view. You've got all of these different things that are going wrong. But today we want to talk about fixing that. I want to share with you a few things that are going to improve your eye contact and help you be a rock star in your next virtual presentation or meeting. Ready? Let's do it. The first thing that you can do to improve your eye contact in your virtual presentations, online presentations and meetings is really simple. Number one is simply record yourself, record yourself. The reason why a lot of people are not able to maintain eye contact is just that they're not comfortable with looking at the camera, looking at the lens and seeing themselves or seeing nobody on the camera. It becomes challenging for them to keep that focus. I don't see nobody. <laughs> so that's the first thing. Make sure that you record yourself. The second thing is, and this is one of the more challenging things for people to understand or to think about. When you have your camera set, you don't want the camera just set at eye level. You certainly don't want it set below eye level, but you just don't want it set at eye level. You actually want it set just a touch above eye level so that your eyes appear wider. You don't look like you're looking down on people and it just makes your face look brighter. I want to share with you the setups that I have for my cameras so you can see where they are in relation to how I'm sitting and where my eyes are. I'm going to start with my webcam and then I'll show you my phone. I've got three main cameras that I share for when I do my live streaming. So my first one is my webcam. And if you notice, I hold my hand straight out, kind of like this, that is eye level. But if I put it up a little bit, it's just above eye level. I've got another one here that is in my teleprompter. If you note, it kind of comes right down towards eye level. Same with this one, okay? Comes right down towards eye level. Not straight, but just on a plane. So I'm looking, my eyes are open wide and looking up at the camera. Okay, this is me holding my phone down at about 15 to 20 degrees below eye level. And this is right at eye level. My arm is straight out in front of me, but you can see that I'm still almost looking down a little bit. And now I raise it just a touch, maybe about five degrees above eye level. And I've got a little bit of a, a different appearance. My eyes are opened wider and you can see I can have better eye contact. All right, hopefully that was helpful. The number three thing that you can do in order to improve your eye contact in virtual sessions, virtual meetings, online presentations is to use a teleprompter if you need to. Now, a lot of you might say, man, I don't have room for those plastic thingies that the presidents use. Is that what you're talking about? Teleprompters, yes. Are those plastic things that presidents use and other high level officials? but those are not the only types of teleprompters. Teleprompters can be on your computer. They can be on your iPad or your tablet device. And teleprompters can also be on your phone. As a matter of fact, there is a great app called Video Teleprompter produced by Joe Allen. And you can go to his website, joeallenpro.com to check that out. I'll put a link in the description. Teleprompters do several things. They help me do more than just read the words that are on the screen. But if I'm in a Zoom meeting, I can use my camera through a teleprompter and still see the people that are in the Zoom meeting in order to help me keep 
eye contact with those people that are in the meeting. And the fourth thing that I want to share with you right now is don't obsess over eye contact. And when I say don't obsess, I mean, you don't have to stare at the camera the entire time. You don't have to look at the camera the entire time. There's nothing wrong with sometimes looking away to do something, grabbing something. You don't have to worry about if you look away, people are all of a sudden gonna end the meeting and leave you. We're out of here. <laughs> Trust me, they won't do that. What they really want from you is connection. They want authenticity. They want you to be as natural as possible. And yes, they wanna see your eyes too. Hey, if you want to learn more about the techniques and the technologies of storytelling, do me a favor. Join me in the Storytellers Growth Lab by going to storytellersgrowthlab.com. If you want to learn more about this topic, make sure that you leave some questions in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. When you subscribe, make sure you click that bell thingy so that you know when I drop new videos. And finally, don't forget to share this with a friend because sharing is caring. I'll see you in the next video.